Hello everybody. Today I'll be talking about a new personal financial management program called Money Spire. This is an alternative to Quicken. It's uh, something that just came out within the last year. So let's walk through it and show you how to get it installed and give you a little bit of an overview of what it looks like and what it's all about. So right now you can download Money Spire for free for a 30 day trial. Once you download it, I'll include the link in this video here below. Once you download it, you'll get a file. It works on both Windows and Mac, so I'm installing the Windows version today, but they are both the same software. They both run the same way. So double click on it, and if you get a pop-up from Windows, just click Yes, and we'll accept the license agreement. Next, 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 and install. It just takes a few seconds to install, and then we'll go ahead and launch it. I'll close this other window. So, like I was talking about, you get 30 days free to try Money Spire. All the features are included. Or you can use it for free forever, but with only one account. That's this option. So, I will choose the full 30 day trial. And then, if you want to buy it, you can go to the link below and buy a license code for it. So, this is the screen you'll see the first time you open Money Spire and we'll click on set up money spire for the first time so let's just choose a name I'll just say my test file click next you can choose a currency just about any currency you can think of is supported next and then you can start adding your accounts now you can import accounts from a QIF file which you can get through Quicken so if you're a Quicken user you can actually export all of your accounts to a QIF file and then import them straight into MySpire for this demo I will just manually add an account I'll just say checking account it's a bank account in dollars and we'll say the initial balance is two thousand dollars and then let's add another account and we'll give ourselves a savings account it's also a bank account and we'll say it has a balance of five thousand dollars and then let's add a credit card and we just change the account type here to credit card and we'll say that we owe five hundred dollars on it the interest rate is thirteen point two five percent and then let's add uh, let's add an asset like our home so we have a house and we can call it an asset here and the house is worth 200,000 and then just because we'll add our mortgage just so that we can see everything here so that would be a loan let's say we owe 150,000 on it and the interest rate is 3.25 okay so we've added several accounts and again like I said in this portion you can import your accounts from Quicken so that's not a problem if you already use Quicken now the next screen if we choose to we can add bills or reminders here this is optional you can always set it up later just for the demo I will enter in a few reminders here let's say electric bill category Money Spire comes with a nice list of categories already here for us. Most of the categories that most people would use are included in here already. So we'll say this is for bills and electric. And we'll say it's $75 a month. Due on, let's say it's due on the 30th of the month, every month on the 30th. And we'll say, whoops, pay Acme Electric Company. So I just added a reminder for my electric bill. I can also add my paycheck. I wanted to go to the checking account. The payee is Acme Motor Company. Category, we'll choose salary right there. And we'll say it's $1,500. And then we'll say it's going to happen on every month on the 15th and the 30th okay so that's how you would set up bills and reminders and next if you want to you can add a budget at this time during setup this is also optional but I will add it 
just for the demo. I'll say my budget or whatever you'd like to call it. And it already has a lot of categories in here. So we can say we have a mortgage payment that's $550 a month. Maybe we have a car payment for $300 a month. Let's say $250 a month for fuel. We'll just throw a few things in here to demonstrate. $45 for internet. Phone bill, $75 a month. And let's throw another one in here. Groceries. Let's say we spend $500 a month on groceries. We'll save that just like that. And then we'll be able to see what the budget looks like. And then we probably want to choose a password to protect our file. So I'll just type in a password here. It's optional if you don't want to, but I would recommend it. And now we're done. So let's click finish. Type in the password we just created for that file. And here we are. This is the main screen of MoneySpire. So now I'll go through each of the tabs and the different features of MoneySpire to show you what it can do and give you a little bit of a feel for how the program works. So similar to Quicken, it lists all of your accounts over here on the left. And on the main screen, you can see all of your accounts grouped by the type. So we have our bank accounts, credit card accounts, loans, and assets, and the amounts, the balances for each of those accounts. We can always add a new account here. We can edit an existing account. So for example, if we want to connect it up with our bank, we can do that right here. Configure Direct Connect and so on. We can delete accounts. We can import from our bank a QFX file or a QIF file, a CSV file, etc. into an account. So that's that's what that looks like. On the Reminders tab, we can see the, the two reminders that I set up during the installation phase. And I can always add more reminders right here. Let's say I want to add my cell phone bill. And we'll just say it's Verizon. It's going to be under Bill's phone for the category. And we'll say it's $65 a month due every month on the 15th, starting on August 15th. So there it is. It just showed up on our calendar. And it's over here on our list. So that gives us an easy way to see everything, all of our bills, paychecks, etc., that we set up in here. You can see that each month. The reason this is important, not just as a reminder to you, but setting up these reminders and bills allows MoneySpire to forecast the balances for each of your accounts. So you can go and look a month ahead and see what your checking account balance will be in a month or in a week. Now let's go to the budget tab. Here's the budget that we set up before. It's very simple and shows you exactly what you need to see each of our categories and how much is budgeted for those categories for the month, how much we've spent so far this month, and what's left over. Very simple. And you can change it to show the time range that you wish. The reports tab will show our income and expenses. We haven't added any expenses in our checking account yet, so we'll come back to this tab later. And then there's one more invoices. So this is just a little bit of a a nice feature for anyone who has a small business, you can actually do invoices here in the MoneySpire program. So that's one nice little addition. So let's go look at our checking account now. This is what the register looks like. So I will add a couple of transactions here and then we will be able to see what the reports tab looks like. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so I've added a few transactions here. And one thing you'll notice if you're a Quicken user is that by default, MoneySpire sorts the transactions the opposite of Quicken. So in MoneySpire, the newest transactions show up on the top. If you don't like that, you can just click on this date arrow here and it will change so that your newest transactions show up at the bottom and the oldest on the top. So you can see here I entered these four transactions including a transfer to my credit card to pay off my credit card account which is right here. It shows the balance after each of these transactions and the cleared balance. So right now I have not reconciled these transactions. If I reconcile them or check this box to clear them then my cleared balance over here will change just like that. So that's a nice feature. So you can see what your cleared balance is. We can click on reconcile, give it a statement date. We'll say today. And let's say we have a current balance of 2,500. Okay, we can see our transactions here and target balance, cleared balance, difference. So 
looks like I'm off on that 2500 but you can you can see how that works so it reconciles basically the same way as Quicken so this is what a credit card register looks like the only transaction right now is the transfer I did from the checking account and then I have a house here a mortgage savings account and no transactions for those yet so now let's go back to the reports tab and we can see an income versus expense summary detail transaction history balance sheet expenses chart and net worth chart so I'll show you each of those really quickly I'll include all the accounts and all the categories for this month and here we are those are the expenses that I've had so far this month and I am not showing any income because I didn't enter any income yet then the expense detail chart will show each transaction for each of those categories transaction history chart you can see all of your transactions in one place from all of your accounts the balance sheet looks like that here's my assets my liabilities and my net worth and expenses chart this is just a nice graph showing where my major expenses are for the month and of course I can change the time range on these reports as well and then a net worth trend chart so this shows my right here my liabilities my assets and my current net worth over time so that's just a quick overview of MoneySpire and some of the tools that it has, what it looks like. It's very simple to use. It's fast. I've imported a QIF file from Quicken with 38 different accounts and thousands of transactions and MoneySpire continued to perform flawlessly. So I think it's a pretty decent program and definitely worth giving it a try uh, if you're looking for an alternative to Quicken or another personal financial platform to use to track your finances. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And I'll leave a link below where you can read my review of MoneySpire and find out where you can get it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.